shit out of force. My neighbor probably think I got stabbed or something. They must think I get stabbed on the daily, you know? Anyways, what's good, y'all? How y'all doing? Your drums feeling okay? Good. That means you'll be able to listen to this video. Tory Lanez, apology to Megan the Stallion. I was drunk, nigga. I was drunk. I was drunk. Mm, I didn't mean to shoot you, baby. I was drunk. <sighs> seems to be the issue or seems to be an excuse for a lot of things these days. You know, I was drunk, bitch. I didn't mean to shoot you, but I was drunk. What kind of fucking excuse is that? I don't even need to hear the explanation. What kind of fucking excuse is that? Sorry, bitch. I just get to shoot niggas when I'm drunk. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. You little toxic ass fanboys, man, gotta realize, bro, just because you like somebody, man, doesn't mean you can't hold them accountable for the things that they do that are wrong. Okay? Keep it 100. Have a brain for yourself. And be fair, okay? Like, people are really so delusional nowadays, bro. You can like someone and still hold them accountable. The fuck? You don't got to hate that person. I don't hate Tory Lanez. But what he did was wrong. You shot a girl in the foot, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> so, anyways, man. <laughs> Let's get into the video, man. This is, I guess, the Breakfast Club. I don't think Tory Lanez actually makes an appearance in this. Who the fuck is this? T. Jam. What the fuck? Anyways. Um, so, yeah, man. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Like, Evie, where did you go? Where is he? Uh, just disappeared for a I know one thing. The sinks don't work. You know that? Uh, is that what you know? Floor, I just want to throw that out there for anybody who may be listening. Throw that out there. Uh, so that happens in the women's bathroom all the time. You really? have to um, press the reset thing in the outlet. These niggas really got glass in there? Oh. It's not that deep, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. Wash your hands in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> they say Corona be in the toilet. I read that somewhere. Oh, okay. They say they when do. you flush the toilet, Corona jump right out and be up in your ass. Well, we are back here. We are... Um, <laughs> yeah, For one day, only. Like, Why does everybody yeah. laugh when they hear about something in somebody's ass? Up here? Eddie heard you jump in your ass. Yeah, like, say ah, that. Ah, ah, ah. Everybody's always getting so funny oh to people. Not everybody. Uh, let's get to oh my God. I hate y'all, man. <laughs> let's get to the room, Miss Man. Let's talk Tory Lanez. Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela and Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Tari Lanes, they are saying, sent a text to Megan Thee Stallion as she was in a hospital bed 15 hours after she was shot in both of her feet. And TMZ did get this text message. And he said, I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I was just too drunk. Nonetheless, it should have never happened, and I can't change what did. I just feel horrible because I genuinely just got too drunk. I don't know if that's true or not, <clears throat> like that whole story. Yeah, me neither. But, I mean, that is something you should apologize for, but not in text. Not in text. Definitely not text. So, it doesn't seem personal enough after I shoot you. But you know what? Maybe she's not answering the phone. Yeah, maybe, maybe he, he tried can't to get call to her. face to face, and he feels like he has to say something. I well, why don't you hold yourself accountable publicly? Why don't you atone for what you did jail. wrong publicly? Yeah, that's she still, already says that you did it. It's, that's already out there. Why well, he just never said clean? he's never said that he did it. I, I don't know. I just know that the fastest way to healing is to reveal whatever it is. He's probably hoping like, look, I'm not trying to go to jail, and this thing is, I don't know. And then maybe at first he thought Megan The Stallion wasn't gonna say anything because she was keeping quiet, and for, and I'm sure she had to do whatever healing she needed to do on her own before she's able to discuss it. Because if you recall, she said, I'm from the South Side. Mm -hmm. It ain't like, let me go run and tell my business to the police. You know what I'm oh, saying? No. I ain't never been that type of person. But she said, I'm not going to let y'all keep playing in my face. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to let this bitch ass play in my face either. Yeah, I mean, you're the victim. Can I maybe. say bitch ass? I don't think you can. You're, you're the victim. Okay. So, and, and you're a civilian. Nobody is going to look at you and say, Megan is dying as a snitch. Because she told on a grown ass man shooting her. Like, come on. Right, so now it's all coming out. So we shall see what repercussions will happen. Now, Dr. Dre's estranged wife, Nicole Young, she wants him to sit down for a 21 hour day. What the fuck? I thought this was about Tory Lanez. Nah, 
that nigga. We don't give a fuck about nothing else, man. Well, damn. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say what I need to say on this because clearly the video was so damn short. Um, Tory Lanez, nigga, you... He, bro, my opinion is probably irrelevant to him. So I'm not going to speak to him personally when I say this, but I'm going to just speak in a general sense. Um, I mean, you know, like he said, he knows he's wrong. You know, he knows he's wrong. Um, and any of you, like, fanboys of him, you know what I'm saying, that think it's cool to be toxic, <sighs> I feel bad for y'all, man. I really do. I really do. I'm not going to sit here and try and change you niggas because y'all just like to dick suck like a motherfucker, bro. But at the same time, you know, it doesn't make you cool, man. It doesn't make you cool to think that's cool. You know? <laughs> you niggas is weird, bro. I think the thing is, it's like well, just because she's a female, all of a sudden niggas want to attack her. Hey, bro, y'all niggas need to grow the fuck up, man. <laughs> grow the fuck up, bro. Especially black niggas. Like, you know? It's funny. You know, black niggas really have the nerve to sit there and complain about how we are oppressed and we've been oppressed and we've been this and we're that only because we're black, only because we're black this, only because we're black that, right? Okay? So how do you think it feels for a woman to go through everything that is so unnecessary and so biased and so double standardish just because she's a woman? That's cool to you? Grow the fuck up, my nigga. For real. The same way we sit here and preach about, oh, yeah, we're black people. We're humans, too. Just because we're black doesn't mean we're not human. Just because they're women doesn't mean they're not human. Goofball. The fuck? Of course, there's goofy-ass women out there. But there's goofy-ass niggas out there, too. Tory Lanez being one of them right now. Do you know? Keep it one million with yourself. <laughs> Anyways, man, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe.